but I think this 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 whole game has to go to one person. It's Ganacho, and I, and listen, I'm not for one minute saying he's Ronaldo or he's gonna be Ronaldo, but it was Ronaldo vibes. Yeah, but you look at the goal he's Ronaldo scored against Fulham at Craven Cottage that time. That was that was a catalyst to go on and win the league as well. We needed it, and it's a moment. And this kid, the, the pressure is different because we're not fighting for the league at this point in time. But there's still the impact of this goal for him. And I'm just gutted actually that the season's paused now. For some, there's going to be people in the season that are going to go, well, it's perfect for us that it came now. And there's others that are going to go, why is this stopping, man? Yeah. And he's one of those guys who falls into that category. Yeah. They can never do it like I. When you see man pull up and slide, man stepped in a room with legends, Rio and Steve, you know it's a vibe. Check the podcast, what you want to know? Don't ask me, go and ask Joe. If you're talking Premier League, he's on the front line and I gotta go. Oh. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. Vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know this. All right, I want to give a massive shout out to ACAST Audio. You know, Vibe with Five is part of the ACAST network. All right. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good Christmas. But before we go into my Christmas, I don't know about your Christmas, we did a video earlier on oh, with Jamie Carragher, right? Mm. It went off earlier on, man. Like when he saw the uh, Ronaldo's trailer with Pierce Morgan, he decided to tweet, uh, you clap back. Guys, it was, it's a sick video. Make sure you check it out after this episode of Vibe with Five. We have come with the content today. Yeah, Jamie Carragher, with all due respect, came on. Yeah. Now he knows he's going to get rockets fired at him from here. So he yeah. came re ready to rock and roll. So listen, if you ain't seen it, go and check it out. What's, you know, let's give him a little snippet in regards to the Ronaldo situation. I, go I on, Steve. If you want Rio's full download on that, mm -hmm. it's on that. Not It's not going to be on this one. He yeah. responds. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you have to be honest. He's, he's my boy. Cristiano is. We know. We know he's, he's my your mate, boy. But you tell us every week. You have to be honest in these situations, man. I, 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 and and I've backed him. Stop? Is it like four weeks? It was it? No, he's, the he's, he's obviously he's still wrong. beaten. He's on the payroll. You know. Is that, is that your payroll? So when your your <laughs> when's your budget stop from? My budget for what? The PR, Ronaldo PR. You think Ronaldo needs PR? Yeah. <laughs> I think I he know, yeah. You think Ronaldo needs PR? <laughs> I think he might. The most today. followed man on the planet needs <laughs> PR. Wow. Listen, that's probably why he's own PR. Boy, you need help here and there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Agency, external work, just, innit? Just for just for clarity's sake, Rio refused to acknowledge yeah. that he was getting paid by Ronaldo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I believe it's a four weeks from today that oh, he'll be man. getting paid from Ronaldo. Whilst we're talking so about... I, I just, I just seen, on. by the way, on, on air, that Ronaldo's been... Um, they reckon he's been fined a million pounds, no they're saying. Way. See, that sounds like a lot. That's two weeks' yeah, wages. Two weeks wages. So what, what, he's doing, <laughs> what he's doing, right, he's actually picking up one of his sofa pillows yeah. and just going to go... Dust <laughs> and just be doing that for a couple He's of minutes. He's going to go cash, Nike, Nike cash. shoebox. You think that's going to touch cash, the sides? Yeah. <laughs> you think a mill's going to touch the sides with this guy? Come on, man. Oh, man. But that's all they can do it, is two weeks. Crazy. I'll be, I used to get fined two weeks every now and again. As well. The it? manager found me two weeks, man. I almost is won, I almost won, won, what, I almost won it. Give me one him. that you got fined two weeks for. When give me I, one that you definitely deserve and one that you think you didn't. So the, I, when I didn't wear the kick it out racism t-shirt uh, oh, yeah, mm. because of what had happened with my brother, um, I said, no, I'm not wearing it. Based on my principles, yeah, I thought it was it was it weren't right, and that they weren't doing what I f thought they were set up to do, which was back people during racist um, situations and, and cases. Um, so I stood firm and I didn't wear it. Everyone wore it for the warm up. I didn't, and the manager came in and went nuts before the game started. And I was thinking, I better play well, please. That's <laughs> win. So we ended up winning. Next morning, I went into his office. And was, he was like, ba basically, I was going in to just double check if I'm still fine two yeah. weeks wages, yeah. <laughs> and I went in there and he kind of went, he was, the manager was great, really. And this is what sets him apart. He, he went home and he analysed the whole situation and said, listen, OK, you're not fine, but um, next time talk to me before you do it. And oh, make yeah. your decision. So um, that was that. And then another time, I think I got fined, I think I got fined after we got beat by Bayern in the Champions League when I was screaming. And I come in and I was screaming on the pitch and waving my arms and, and like in protest to what the decisions he was making on the pitch with substitutes. Right. Wow, manager. what? To, to the you manager. shouted at him? Yeah, I was like saying like, you should, what are we doing? What, what, what? Like, why, you, yeah, why are you bringing him on? I thought, not, what, what? Rafa or Scolzi got sent off. Yeah, and um, the manager came in and the, the, the hairdryer was in full effect. Is it? It was working. Do you remember it? Yeah, I was covered in phlegm at half Is of it. It was a joke, mate. It was that close. In short, what did he say? I couldn't begin yeah. to say any of the words that he used. 
on this show. It's not at the hour that we need. We'll get restricted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I was in no uncertain terms that you don't do that shit is again. It, is it? Yeah. And then he got a fine. Hey, and real. Then got a fine, yeah. <laughs> real Sunny doors in the show. We have to say this. So you did two bits of content over the weekend. Mm. One of them I watched, and I put it oh, in the group. Pep. No, all right. He's done three bits of content this yeah, weekend. I've been busy, man. Yeah. So the first one, Friday's drop of Tipping Point. Hands, like I said in the group, in it, like I see loads of documentaries ago. I could have made that, right? <laughs> but that one, oh my god! Like the cinematography of it, the pacing of it, the guests, the the topics, mate, it's it's gonna shit awards. <laughs> well, you, you exactly what you put in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you did. Do you want to know the truth? If I'm honest. I ain't seen it yet, but I'm gonna watch it this week. I've wow. seen the trailer. This, this is someone that I works know. with us week in no, week no, out. No, no, I saw some Thanks of it. Thanks for the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but you know, I watched some of it. But you know what? Everyone was messaging me. I put it on my IG. They're like, "Oh, where can we find it?" Amazon Prime, right? So yeah, yeah. it's so on Prime Video. It's so good, and I actually think there might be some change that happens within the game on the back of this. So I hope so. Thank very you very well much. Thank you. The second right. one on Jonathan Ross, where you were. Oh, that was rapping. sick. Now, that right. was sick. Look at the one Joel watches. Hey, no, I'll be honest. We know where Joel is now. Where his mindset is. Serious stuff. Documentaries that are factual, uh, yeah. gonna make change, Jonathan hopefully, etc. Et or strictly entertainment. Yeah, He's only honestly, entertainment that side. was. You know what? I sat back. I came back from work. I was shattered. My wife I saw it on Saturday night. On last night and I thought, mic. I oh. thought this guy ain't gonna grab the mic. And he no. grabs the mic. I thought, oh, he's grabbing it. <laughs> and then he. No, you know, you know what, Jonathan Ross, man. He's like, he's like obviously an iconic yeah, in, is. in, a, in entertainment is. in this country. Been going for years. What a guy. What a guy. His fingers still on the pulse. He had little Sims on there chatting to her, she proper well. connected. She's yeah. she is little Wicked. Sims is an amazing mm -hmm. creative artist. Like either acting or rapping, she is phenomenal. She's gonna be a superstar. Yeah, she's on her she way. She already is, isn't it? Really. But the the yeah. guests we had on there were great, great people as well. But it was just the research is before you go on a show. Like just so you know, right? They said, say to her this we might talk about this and they throw the odd one in it's like what was your initiation song when you signed for oh, me yeah, I, saw that. Yeah, yeah. And I said well when I signed for you I, I signed uh, QPR I, I, I sung like Juicy oh thank, Biggie yeah, Smalls. Yeah, thank you yeah thank you yeah <laughs> so I turned up at the studio I didn't know nothing else turn up and the woman I've got a track um, uh, the, the track backing track, the backing for, you, track yeah, for you the instrumental to, to, to do the uh, what 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 wow yeah. I said no, 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 no. I needed time to rehearse Is all that it? stuff. And she so, went, did no, no. You, so did you remember, like, obviously, I know you listened to it, but did you, like, did you need to... No, she just pulled out her phone and she went, oh, here's the backing track. And she went, this is the backing track. And I went, let me just count it in. That's why I said to Little Sims, count, count me in. Because when I counted in in the, stu in the, the change room, it was I was wrong. way off. No, nah, but you, you, you made that look cool. I can't lie, man. I thought... Thanks, oh, my oh. missus was cringing. Is it? it? And my son said, Dad, turn it off now. No turn it way. off. No way. Nah, nah, you did all right. If, if, it, if it was dead, I would have told you. All right, but what's the WhatsApp group said? Well done, Marie. Well done. Yeah. This, no, uh, in a week where you get your OB, no, no. A week where you get your OB in that, the respect levels have gone through the roof, man. You don't even mention that. I don't. Are they calling? Are they calling you doctor anymore? Like, obviously, we respect the doctor thing, but this just overshadows. I just said, stop the it? doctor, the OB business. Just wait till we get the sir. Is it? Is that yeah, what you're when, going when, for? Yeah? When they get the sir, I'll, I'll, you, you man, can't talk to me with any other way than saying without starting with sir, sir, sir. No, not, <laughs> not a verbal five, mate. <laughs> No, I'm joking, oh, I'm joking. Oh, man, love it. Just no, get honestly, into it anyway. well done. Listen, that's what we bring, man. Vibes, casual conversations. But back to the business. Man United scraping a win against Fulham. You know, I've got to give a massive shout out to Ganacho. Uh, he's probably been like a shining, one of the shining lights of Who's your season so far. Who's Fulham fun this week? You know, oh, yeah. mate. You yeah. know, Jack was supposed to come in, you know. Where is it? Where are you? Honestly, Jack, I don't know what happened. I think he's so pissed here. We didn't discuss it coming in, but he was supposed to come in and give us a five minutes. Yeah. But what happened? Tears. You'd have been tears. You'd have been crying. I, I don't know. to Fulham. They, like, usually what you get is, especially with teams, especially teams that have just come up, you're going to get a, uh, an instance where they might be able to press or they might be able to low block. The transitions that they were doing. Same as Brentford both, against City. They were doing, mm. it was a, a tactic. It, Entertainment-wise, boring. Tactically, fascinating mm. game, I thought. Yeah, Polina was great as well in midfield. Like he Andreas was Pereira. Pereira as well, yeah. yeah. But, and Polina was, was stand out for me for them. But He's do you know it. what I liked about it? They, they, they've got a resilience about them now. And they've got a threat, like you say. I think like last time they came up, they really struggled for goals. Right now, they look like they can get goals. And they've got creators. They've got people that can finish the chances. 
But I think this 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 whole game has to go to one person. It's Ganacho. And I, and listen, I'm not for one minute saying he's Ronaldo or he's going to be Ronaldo. But he it was Ronaldo it. vibes. He saw it in it because I played with a young Ronaldo. Running Let's forget the, the Ronaldo that, that we've seen this weekend <laughs> and we've been talking about. Let's go back to the Ronaldo that all the people are going to remember him for for the right reasons. It's more direct than Ronaldo was, though, isn't it? But, he was just having it. But but you look at the goal he's Ronaldo scored against Fulham at Craven Cottage that time. When he ran down. Yeah. That was that was a catalyst to go on and win the league as well. We needed it. And it's a moment. And this kid, the, the pressure is different because we're not fighting for the league at this point in time. But there's still the impact of this goal for him. And I'm just gutted, actually, that the season's paused now. For some, There's going to be people in the season that are going to go, it's great, it was perfect for us. Clubs as well, it's perfect mm-hmm. for us that it came now. Mm-hmm. And there's others that are going to go, why is this stopping, man? Yeah. And he's one of those guys who falls into that category. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was horrible. Two goals, two assists, two hundred ninety-three yeah. minutes. Wow, the assist the other day was a was as imp- it got almost the similar type of you know, reaction from me the <laughs> other day. Yeah, he was, was going like nuts. Yeah, <laughs> but that's assist for Tom- McTominay. You know why? And I was going, I was sitting there with two of my sons and going, "Oh my God, Tyrone Mings, what is he doing?" But shout out Tyrone Mings, you're not to blame, right? Fully, <laughs> because no, because you know what you do as a player. He's cutting on his right foot. All you've ever seen in the little cameos this boy's put in is dribbling. Outside or inside coming in, it ain't for one minute getting your head up and playing a 45-yard ball on the money like that. <laughs> so Tyrone means ain't, he's, he's, he's probably done his research thinking he ain't capable of doing that. He hasn't mm. done that. I've not mm. seen it yet. And he goes and does it. Mad. Great. He's got I mean, some swagger about it. Oh, oh he does, he believe, I, I can't Do you know lie. what? I said this to Darren Fletcher. I went and watched the 21s game the other day. Uh, got beat 2-0 by Monaco at Old Trafford. And I was sat with um, John Murta and Darren Fletcher are talking about and watching the game. And Fletcher said, you know what he loves about him? He just has an arrogance. He's got an arrogance about him, which is like brilliant. There's a certain type of arrogance you mm-hmm. want in players. Mm-hmm. He has that. And I, it, it threw me back to a game we were doing at BT. I forget the game, Southampton away, I think it was. And he was on the bench warming up in the warm-up before the game. We was on the pitch. And you, you always get a little look, eye contact with players. And normally they give you the little little how you doing, wink or whatever. Mm-hmm. My man just looked me up and down like I was like <laughs> any guy. So do you reckon he was in the zone? <laughs> just looked me up and down and then just jogged off. No, either he just never ever known any history of the club, doesn't care for it. Yeah. Or he's looked at me and just thought, Rio, you're it's not on my level. It's not the time now. Yeah, you ain't. I'm going. I'm going way and beyond anything you've ever done in the game. There were the vibes I got. Tell, tell the truth. Wow. Did you did you did you feel a little bit a little bit offended? Like, no, I looked oh. at myself like, bro, what's yeah. happened to me? Yeah. <laughs> where, where have you gone? Like, like um, it was. But it, but I, I I don't mind that. I love young players. I love seeing young players with a little bit about them. I love it. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why did Gary Neville uh, have to start having a go at his attitude? Yeah, I, I I texted it in the group that because Bruno done an interview after the game when he scored the other day, his first goal it was, and said that oh, his attitude in the summer has had to improve and blah, blah. And even then I was like, it's just got his bro. first goal, man. Yeah, Let him enjoy it. Because them type of things, yeah, I know it from being a player, a young player who got in trouble a little bit as a, as a young player growing up. It's very easy to get a reputation. It's v- even more difficult and so difficult to lose one. Yeah. So to give him that, and then all of a sudden he's, he does something brilliant again and the commentator in the game goes on about his attitude. It's the first thing that gets said and I'm sitting there going, how that do you mad. do that? Yeah. Like it just, oh, and, I, and if he could understand it or if it gets relayed to him, he'll, he'll probably sit there frustrated going, well, I've just I've scored an unbelievable l- l- late goal and the first thing that they say is that about my attitude. <sighs> Come I, on, man. I've got two questions, one for you and one for you. We'll start off with you, Steve. Should he have pick, been picked for the Argentina squad? I've been. I don't know when I don't sarcastic. care. A bit sarcastic. Like Argentina have never had any good wingers. Never, never had any good forwards. Like they're a yeah. bit of a national middle. Never had they, really? any Di Maria good forwards. Di Maria. I, Iguain. Listen, he's just Pardon? totally took the bait on it. Just like because I, I, when I said I'm being a bit sarcastic. No, I'm not, I'm not doubting. I'm saying, oh, okay, oh. cool. <laughs> When I said being sarcastic, you know, they've never had a good forward. Minnow country, you know, could probably do with a bit okay. of a superstar player like him. Um, Tongue in cheek. Yeah, I think realistically they'll be fine. I think Argentina might have the strongest squad in the tournament, so they'll probably be fine. But I think it would have been a good opportunity to take him because if they sat and thought about it and said, "Well, in four years, is this kid going to be part of this squad?" 
Yes, he is. Third or fourth strongest squad for me. Yeah, I was going to say France look like they, they're yeah, stacked. France and Brazil, France and Brazil stacked. squads are stacked. And I think them, them and then Holland maybe come after that. Yeah. Well, it, they should have looked at it and said, look, in four years, do we think he's going to be part of this squad? And I think it would have been a resounding yes. yes. And if he is, because you've got 26, man, mm. you, you can have a couple of passing. That's what I was going to say. Do you know what? Like, like I, me and Michael Owen went as that guy. Yeah, yeah. Probably we played. I'd played probably about sixty games by then. Michael may be the same, or give or take. I'm not sure. Mm. So very different. Still huge tat. Still huge tat. I was nineteen. Two thousand. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is ninety eight. Right. Right. Um, and Michael was eighteen, and you think, okay, but he hadn't done enough over a period of time to go right. He has to go. But what it is more about? Do the scouts? Do the um, people within the Argentinian FA look at him and go this is a generational talent this is the one who's going to be here for the next 10-15 years if they did think that about him or do think that about him then I think he should have gone maybe take him on because you look at Ronaldo they did that Remember to Phil Ronaldo? Foden you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no but, but I'm saying guys part of the squad oh, okay. Ronaldo went yeah. Remember that time he didn't play no games when yeah, they won yeah, yeah. it no, no, oh, oh yeah 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 original right, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, so, I so it's, it's it's difficult I mean I, like, I, I agree with you that Phil Foden and Sessegnon, Sessegnon and yeah. Mason Mount all came out to Moscow yeah. and were going around the media area they come in the, in the studio at BBC they went around the squad to see what it's like because they were looking at them as three that could possibly be players did you up. do the same in your 96 you said yeah I've done the Sick, same it's it? a b b uh, unbelievable um, <laughs> kind of experience man oh, I, I, I was training with him yeah sorry before that yeah, question I was training with him with, I was like 16 I think 15 16 and I was training with the, the Euro Euro 96 team mm -hmm. and I, I was training and thinking, and shit, yeah man. and I was training and doing bits in training thinking right these men ain't far off from where I am is he? Yeah, like, that's how confident I was. Is I was doing missing training. I was thinking, I know I've come off today. Mm -hmm. This is why I always say to young players, you, you get called to go over to the first team or whatever levels up from where you are. Leave the manager with something that he goes. Did you see that? Whether it's a bit of pace, kids, kids got some recovery. Up. Yeah, recovery. Mm -hmm. Whether it's talking, shouting, and demanding off others who are older or, or a bigger team than you, just something that the manager goes away with and goes, "Oh, I'll have that back here next week." Who was the hardest to train against at the time? Yeah, there's only there's only two players that have ever made me go or a whole training session stop, pause and go, oh my God, wow. Paul Gascoigne was one of them. We were going unbelievable dribble and shoot from almost a halfway line, but pinged it. Yeah. With the like, inside of the foot one curler. And then mm. you had um, Veron, Veron. and Rabona from miles out, top corner, ridiculous, in America in pre-season. <laughs> Mad. Who's the 15, 16 year olds going with England now, if any? Oof. 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 I don't know enough. I don't know. It, I don't know enough about them. There's a young. Okay. There's. I don't know if he's 15, 16 year old. There's a young 18 year old number two goalkeeper now at Brentford, Matthew Cox. Who I put it out he, there he, now. He won. He, um, yeah. He uh, won a tournament with England. Just gone. England, yeah. I put it out there. That I think he'll go. And being an England national at some point in his career, he's he, that good. He signed a new contract as well. So like yeah, they they're, they're putting a lot of faith in him. Yeah. Um, who else is there? Because it's, it's this is Colwell. 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 Um, mm. Brighton mm. has got a real chance. Left footed centre back. Don't not that young though. He's not that young, but I'm just talking about players that are on the peripheral of establishing himself as Premier League players even before the, the international. Um, who else? Because with you, it was your pre your debut, a couple of years before your debut. Yeah, it was like me, that. Frank Lampard, a kid called Jamie Cassidy. He played for Liverpool, left footed forward, and a kid called Andy Ducross. What a player. Andy Ducross, great player. Number 10. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say what young What happened to them three players? I know, man. Um, Andy Ducross was like, he, you just could not, not see him play. <laughs> he didn't get it, did he? I don't know. He didn't get it. What? What happened to what three players? So, what, what happened to all them three players? Which ones? Forget it. Steve, on man, a that, different that level Jamie too, Cassidy you, you, know, you should have said what happened to Frank Lampard because Jamie Cassidy and Ducos didn't make it yeah I know <laughs> I, I think uh, that Jacob Ramsey guy is oh, one to you? watch okay, out for I, get it. <laughs> I, think, I think Jacob Ramsey is one that you could watch out for <clears throat> yeah but he's been playing already though hasn't he properly you reckon yeah like, he's, he's, he, he's like he's probably disappointed he didn't get a sniff four like, years Conor, ago Conor Gallagher's got a played. four years ago yeah, yeah. I think maybe maybe not yeah, he was in and around. You know like, so like, like Ramsey could yeah. probably say, like he could put his argument and say, I should have gone maybe instead of uh, Conor Gallagher, based yeah. on what he's done over the last 
18 months. He probably could have an argument. I don't know about 18 months. If you said three months, I would have said, yeah, but 18 months, Gallag- Gallagher's. No, he's, I'm, not, I'm not saying Gallagher's been, right, cool. been brilliant in, when he's at Palace. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back to Chelsea. He's, done a, he's been played a bit part. I hear you. Do you know what I mean? But it's. I'm not saying who should go and who shouldn't, but I think if you're if you're Ramsey, you probably do go. Well, I, I you're closer. Should. You're not you're not on the peripheral of hanging around. Yeah, and I'm trying talking to about more younger players. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Go on, let's go. What's your uh, question? My question to you was Charlie Patino. Could be another one. You never know, and he's mm. doing really well. What happened? Ethan Nuera, the one who come on for you lot. Yeah. Made his debut. For oh man. At Arsenal. Yeah, I seen him score a goal the other day. Oh, against yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Proper sick. Yeah, he's got a chance, Ethan. My question is, what happens to Jaden Sancho now? Because it's a bit tricky, right? You got obviously Marcus Rashford, who I reckon in the long term he will be playing on that left. This is that's mm. his best position. You've got Anthony, who's going to be playing on the right, unless something mad happens or injuries or whatever. Um, with Alanga being the deputy on that side, but on the left you've now got Ganacho, who is. Are you in my no, South not. South London? No, you didn't. Peckham, no, what's that group? No, you didn't. Because this you was the conversation. What? This was oh, the conversation the other day. I've got a group of guys who I grew up with yeah. on my estate. We've got a WhatsApp group. And we talk about this because Sancho's from our area. And yeah. a few of my friends have, 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 have grown up with him and stuff like that. And we talk about this. And it's like, that was one of the first things. After that like goal winning, yeah. when it, after minutes. What happens? Was For like, real? what happens with Jaden now? Like, we're not saying he's done. We're not whatever. Yeah, we're just yeah. asking questions. Just concerns, because it's, man. It's, it's, it's a real question because you've got three top players in that position. Well, when Jaden comes to United, I was so, so happy. I was thinking, boy, now we're from South London. Got a chance to take on the bat and go. numbers in Germany weren't a, yeah, like, weren't a flash. They were, a, yeah, they were like, consistent over three seasons. And you're thinking, is that, just transfer 60, 70% of that in your first couple of seasons in a red shirt and it's a madness but he hasn't been able to transfer transfer yet and it's all about unlocking why Mm -hmm. unlocking why what is the reason is is it the style of football's not suiting him the Premier League the pace of it the demands defensively that he's not been used to more than ever before in his career Um, doing both sides of the game is there more tactical elements that come into the game that ask you more questions from a mental side of things is it on the training field, is he doing things right on the training field to get the output in the games? Is he? It's like all those questions are just up in the air, and I'm just sitting there saying, "What is it? What is it that unlocks this?" Because there's no denying there's talent, mm-hmm. but it's just not being unlocked right now on a consistent basis. You remember the start of the season? He scored a few goals, by the way. Yeah, like he scored a few goals. The Liverpool big, goal was he, t- he took that well. Yeah. Even last season, Burnley. you know, it's just I think he scored one or two goals. It weren't, it I think last season he started slow but ended well. Yeah. But it's just the team was in such a rut. Yeah, that I think you don't defensively see it. as well. Like, if you looked at his game defensively, he's, he's high intensity sprints, um, getting back into right right shapes has been, I think, very very good. Mm. It's just being able to combine that and balance that out with the attacking elements that I know are in there, mm-hmm. but aren't being unlocked. It's so frustrating Do for me. I watched that under eighteen City team oh. um, against United, and they had Brahim Diaz. Oh. What a player he was, by the way, uh, Foden. Some unbelievable football. Foden Brahim <laughs> Diaz, who's now at AC Milan, is he? He went oh, to he Madrid, Real, didn't Real Madrid, he? and Jaden, some youth team that. Yeah, and n- none of them stood out apart from Jaden. Jaden got on the ball, and I literally remember holding my breath when he got on the ball because mm. he would just cutting off that left hand side and kill you. Mm. He was unbelievably good, mm. and then obviously he was doing bits as well for England as well at the same time. And then you, you see him go to Germany and you kill it. Guaranteed. Mm. Yeah, mm. kill it. And he's just not been able to replicate it. And I know he hadn't played Premier League football and maybe people are judging him thinking, well, he's English, he should be not. But he's not played Premier League football. And you know he's been in a bit of a tumultuous team. He's had four managers at United. Well, yeah, that's another thing. Four managers in that short period of time. Listen, whatever you say, there's a fight now for that left-hand Might side. Might be the best thing yeah. for him. Yeah. Right. How you respond, character, personality, that's what gets you through now. It's going to be a tough summer, man. It really I'm is. I'm backing Jaden. Come on, man. Let's go. It's a tough summer. South London. So I'm not a United fan, but I just want to see the kid South do well. Do you know what I mean? We've got to back Come South on. London. Um, I was going to say, last question in regards to Man United, because there's bigger fish to fry. Uh, Christian Eriksen. Oh. You've got to give the guy props, man. Coming on for a free. You know what? In the summer, you were saying he's probably, you don't see him really. You bit s- bit, part, bit player. part player, you said. You know, boy oh boy, has he proved you wrong. And Massively, right I, I'm, happy for, I'm happy for that to be the case. Mm-hmm. No one around this table, no one, I don't think you can doubt this man's ability with his technique with the football. 
ridiculous footballer in terms of talent and return in terms of part you know what I love about him? He's weight check something on him. His weight of pass mm. is unreal off both feet. Even his pass the other day, Rashford scored a goal, Rashford tweeted about him saying oh, it's forget my goal. Mm-hmm. The pass, thank you. Wow. Like and I've seen him do some crazy passes. Mm-hmm. Um but I did not expect him to be as influential. Yeah. And as much as a regular in this team as he has been, because I mean, it's, I just, I, given only the history of and well documented what's gone on with him, I just didn't think that was yeah. going to be the case. So I am absolutely delighted the way that Ericsson is being used and the way that he's actually taking these time in this team and being one of the most prominent reliable players that we've got now. He loves it as well. Yeah. You know, you'd see him and he looks yeah. like he's actually happy to yeah. be at the club and Completely. obviously he's gone through a lot. So yeah, have you got your stat yet? Or? No, it was. I think uh, I don't keep talking. I'm fine. Yeah, no, oh, I'm gonna move it on. I'm gonna move it on because Let's move on. because Come Man on. City did us a huge favor on the weekend, losing two wow. one to Brentford. Massive shout out oh, to Ivan, Ivan Tony. Tony. Ivan Tony. Rio, my question is right. Do you think that kind of stuff's gonna hinder him getting called back into the England squad? Didn't obviously, but obviously, quite, obviously, he's not in the squad now. But just I, in case Southgate goes and wins it or does better, like that's my little. I would be. What more can Ivan Tony do to get an England team? Listen. Like so, so, so I don't think that. To go back to your question. It can't mm-hmm. hinder him because he's doing the most right now. Bad boy strike. So he can't. I don't. It's one of those situations where we're going to look back and go, "How did he not play for England at least a couple yeah. of times to get yeah. to see what he was like?" Yeah. Twenty twenty two is Andy Cole. Mm, could be, yeah, could be. Different but, he, but he's, but he's, he's a. I watched. I was at the game. I done it for BT the other, on on Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. And I went in there thinking, wow, it's going to be three, four goals um, if they get out of here like that. And they'll be happy. They'll be like, okay, we just got to beat three and it'll be not bad. Mm-hmm. But the way they set up, we spoke to their manager before the game and he said, listen, we're setting up, we're prepared. Um, we're going to double up all over the pitch. <laughs> That's what he was saying, tongue in cheek. So we know how tough this task is. But like, you dip- go back to the point you said about Fulham the balance that they had, how good they were back in a shape. But many teams can't do both, but you need the right profile of player to do that. You need players that in the transition are quick and dynamic and know the spaces to run into. And Brentford had that. You had Ivan Tony, the, 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 the platform, the board would go into him invariably and then he would be able to take that first challenge and set it for somebody <laughs> who's on the run. And then you had the legs around him to get up the pitch. And the, 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 the second goal was a perfect example of that. But they were great both sides of the game, Man. with and without the ball. Pinnock, he was doing Pinnock, his job. Yeah. Listen, we're not saying that, you know, like South he put Harland again. in his pocket, but I but saw his IG uh, IG post out there and he hmm. should really be proud of that performance. Like we always say, he came from uh, Dulwich before. Dulwich Hamlet, yeah. My, my, one of my best mates, um, Gavin, was his manager at Dulwich yeah. Hamlet. And... Always spoke high. So you keep an eye out for someone like that comes yeah, from the areas you're from. It's a great journey. South London, South London. South London. You yeah, you yeah. Yeah. You Listen, that. Non-league's doing bits. People are going to realise the levelling on league's mental. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you have a word with your mate? Who? That bald fella at say. Because he's balding it up a little bit. Because, you know I mean, you can't, oh. you can't have that. Because it's getting a bit like... Is it, was that five, point, five yeah. points clear? I interviewed him the other day and he was... He, they're in com- confident mood as well going in. They couldn't have gone into this game with 16 wins on the bounce at home. It's got to be because of the World Cup, innit? It's got to be. So. They just fell like, short of our record, be. by the way, I think, of wins on the bounce. I think we've done 20. And I was it's got to be because of the it's World Cup. <clears throat> what? That they didn't switch on the way they should because... Nah. Uh, what? It's just, it's just because they just were, they, they, they weren't at it. They weren't at it. They had no, there was no potency in that team. Brentford had the best chances throughout the whole 90 minutes. Yeah, and I'm saying, because there's a World Cup round the corner, I'm very sure that a lot of those players, they've got their eye on that. Imagine calling yourself the greatest of all time. That's one of the hardest. And letting them be. (laughs) That's one of the hardest games to play before a World Cup, especially in... Yeah, everyone's worried about injuries. Come on, man. You, you're going to be... In, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you on that, actually. You the know. edge might have been taken off the... Just a little bit. bit. I thought you this know. entire weekend's programme yeah. was going to be a bit up in the air because mm. of, like, how do you go through someone mm. thinking, World Cup, man? Well, it's mad because I saw some, so some many players like, pulling up, like, Kula Bali just pulled up holding his hammy 
and you're thinking, right, well, he's captain of Senegal, I think. Because it's in your head, thinking, yeah, don't like, get injured, don't get injured, we're, we're going to talk about it, but um, Madison, he oh, got a little Oh, Madison as well. well. praying for Madison, I thought, listen, <clears> man, <throat> no, yeah. but he put up a tweet saying, yeah. or a message saying, it's, it I don't, I don't know how to bad. believe that, I'm going to wait and see. Is it? See oh, yeah, because he's not going to say the opposite, is he? He's not going to say, no, I'm out, that's me. No, 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 fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. At least get on the plane and then have a test out. Exactly. But that made way, that result made way for Arsenal later on to beat Wolves. 2-0. Rio, I'm going to let you take the stage for this so you can talk about our team. Go on, go on, go on. Let them know. Yeah, start with the VAR. Let them know. Yeah, VAR, VAR. <laughs> Absolute dis- It's a honest. disgrace! <laughs> it's a disgrace! <laughs> I have to be honest, though. You know what? And I, uh, so we spoke about this the other day um, with Mikhail Arteta, actually, talking about just t- ch- name, checking off the boxes. Just pick it up. Just, yeah, ch- just checking the boxes and ticking them off <laughs> of certain things that have hindered this Arsenal team. Arsenal Football Club over the years, over the last probably 10 or 15 years, mm-hmm. being soft at the, at the centre and being easy to play against sometimes, away games um, being hit and bullied and players and, and, and fans calling them out. I mean, Troy Deeney called them out. No cojones. But, but yeah, but right now, they're ticking off them boxes. I mean, that game was a game where you look at it where they probably get beat 1-0 in years gone by. With a bit of justice. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't have any doubts. I was sitting there thinking, it's one of them when they're going to score. Yeah. And I was, you know what? I was as pleased as anyone to see Odegaard be the man to step up and have that moment. Because there's a moment. Because you, in- you said the captain's armband would weigh heavy on him, didn't you? That's <laughs> you what, what, that. wait, wait, can That's you, what can, you said. Can we, you, you know what? We've got technical, you know? technical people behind the scenes over uh, there. Archie. Can you get that clip up, yeah? That get what I actually up. said. I said. They're going to show to find it. I don't know what episode it, it was It could. In. Be something that weighs heavy on him, the armband. You didn't say whether it could. or not you said it happened. It I would. I John, you said, I see it. You said, I see Lads, it. Can you lot no, find no, no. it? Weigh, no. Weighing heavy on him. We have to group. That's what you said. Group. I said it could. Yeah, I hope I mean. it doesn't, but it could. We have to crowd source finding that one. One thing you can't question with this kid, he's been a child superstar. We've known yeah. about him since he was probably 13, 14 years old. He is delivering right now he as is. captain of Arsenal Football Club. In the summer, we were linked with like permanently either him or Madison. And I was you would have livid. Madison, yeah, it? I was livid <laughs> that we got Odegaard. Like I really was, but I'm so so happy that you get it wrong about your players often, don't well, you? Your managers not and really. Have you ever met not any really. Arsenal fans? Arteta out. Really. Arteta out. No, but Every Arsenal fan. Hang on a minute. Bad, hang on a minute. You've not been getting it wrong at Man United for a while, so don't no, be jumping you know what, on me. You know what, you know what makes don't me be jumping on me. In arguments, yeah. You know, you, know me. you know when someone comes to you about something and they just deflect it. Just take the heat. Take the little bit of hot sauce and just let it simmer. Mate, you've been deflecting Ronaldo's argument for the last four, five, six months, mate. It's been addressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, show. Been addressed. Been addressed. Uh, I was so good. I was sitting there watching it. It ruined my night. Did it? Yeah, it ruined my night. Yeah. I'm well, not bothered. I'm, uh, people look at me sometimes and go, you hate Arsenal. I don't hate Arsenal. He loves us deep down. He wished he played for game, us, man. Go out and do 10K. Just yeah. fuming. Get it out of your head. Yeah. No music nah. on. Just. But yeah, I'm you know, angry. the boys. I actually want, if there was any other team out of the big teams, uh, I, I wouldn't mind winning the league. It would be Arsenal. Come on. Uh, I don't want Liverpool to win it. I don't Come want on. City to win it. I don't want Chelsea to win it. Come on. Spurs, Spurs, Spurs can't win it. Do you know what? Do you know what? You ain't got to worry about Chelsea winning it either. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah. yeah Boy, Chelsea, gonna, man. Listen, I watched we... Chelsea. Did you watch the game? I watched it the other day. I was thinking, wow. Newcastle look like the bigger team. Newcastle mm. are The better team. Mm. I think like... it's going to be this lot. City. That, that's your two out of your four in the top yeah. four box right off. And then it's going to be us, Newcastle. Spurs will be in there. I think you can't write Liverpool off just yet and Chelsea like five teams going for two spots then yeah it's crazy Newcastle man you have to give them the credit you have to give them credit I said this the other day they could have easily gone out and slashed the cash yeah, they've been really economical it. with it they've been reserved it's concerned. worrying that isn't it just like, calm they what they're doing. Oh, and then all of a sudden that. you want Gary Cook don't you like yeah. we'll sign Messi hey. and then all of a sudden when it's time <laughs> to get the big boys in yeah, right. when they've got they Champions League look, football, look, look, in the, look, in look who's doing well. well. You know, you got the likes of Joe Willock. You know, you you might have thought, oh, okay, when 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 the takeover happens, he's going to be phased out, but he's looking better than ever. Mm. You know, even the fact that even we're not being what's going on with Joel Linton. Wow. Honestly, yeah, he's what's him. happened there? Because it's that's good coaching, man. That's what I see in that team. They're a well-drilled outfit who are being coached remarkably well at the moment because he's getting a tune bits. out of players that we were looking at and going. Whoa! Yeah, they ain't gonna play Premier League. Yeah. They got got to get rid of them and on the scrap heap. But they're all performing, man, consistently well, and they look like a confident team now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? I think they're in something together because I think when Eddie Howe comes in, football. Yeah, no, when no, not just football. <laughs> no, when Eddie Howe comes in, yeah, they all work for the it's same all place. like, yeah, all right, <laughs> it's all like, look, we could all be gone here. 
mm. including yeah, the manager. Maybe, yeah. We've got to prove Galvanize. that we can do this together. Maybe and that's now, what he said. You know, maybe. You saw what happened at City. Yeah. Richard Dunn's and all them like, out yeah. the door, you lot. We're going to yeah. be bringing some big dogs in. Graham Potter, though, man. Why go on? Boy. Needs time. <laughs> yeah. And that's the word we always talk about in this game is yeah. you need time. Is he going to get it? These new owners now, we've got to see what they're made of. But they, they've made a big decision. Get He's their man, though. He's their first man. Yeah. So they can't sack him quick. Uh, all this talk about being sacked, I'm not on it. I think yeah. he needs time to shape his team. Don't forget, he never bought any of these players. Mm. These ain't his players. They bought a lot of them. They bought a big, big turnover of players in the summer. He didn't sign any of them. So Say what you want time. though, Chelsea, they don't care about all of that, bro. You've got no, the team. The former Chelsea don't, don't Yeah, we don't know yet. We don't right? know this hierarchy. We don't know what this new guy's going to be like. I don't know. The way he dealt with two Kel shows no, me that. He wants his guy, shows me, yeah. I always want his I hear you, But he's not afraid to mm. pull the trigger. And some of the stuff he's come out with is bonkers. So, it wouldn't surprise me if he was like, do you know what? I'll manage for a bit. You know, yeah, see yeah. how it goes. I'll let you uh, read out the Bournemouth versus Everton uh, scoreline. <laughs> I don't even actually know what score it was. I know they lost. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? It's right there. Oh, I saw it at 2 0. <laughs> I actually finished 3 0, Frank, didn't it? Do you give me his number? Give me a ring. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, didn't the game, man. you didn't see the game. I don't mean to see the game. Under, they're I, under I pressure there, man. I, yeah. I saw some of the aftermath of the game where I don't think the fans were very happy with him. They threw someone's shirt back at you. know when you, a player finishes a game and you throw your shirt <laughs> in the Oh crowd, my God. They threw it back. They threw it back. They said, no, nah, we, don't, don't, we don't want this shirt. Have you ever experienced that? Me? Yeah. No, <laughs> come on. You know you're See, talking um, to. Martinez swapped his for an Argentinian flag. With Did someone. He? someone brought an Argentinian flag and it was like... Yeah, I see the other, the, in the, I see oh. in the way and there was about four or five Argentina flags, weren't there? Ganacho thought it was all from. throw the shirt back, man. That no, you can't crazy. throw the shirt here. I don't know, I don't know who f- shirt was thrown. What do you do? No, no. Do you pick it back up and go in or do you just go, oh, fuck it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, do you, do? what do you do? That is Let us know in the comments, what do you do? Yeah. Do you pick it up? Let us know, what do you do? Sounds. What do you do? No, if your shirt gets <laughs> thrown back at you, you've got to just pretend you've not seen that shit and walk off. <laughs> Jog in. Clap. Get a sprint off. Clap everyone though as well. That yeah. That's nice. one. Thank you. Love this. Club. Well, you know what you do? You just go in the crowd. <laughs> go in, I think you just go in there. Yeah. How long how long has he got left Rio? Like Who's? Just, Frank. Well, it's, it's this is the thing that big break now. You could get break. someone else in, couldn't it's you? It's a big break, so it's worrying. I, I said that the other day, right? Mm. You did. Do you think so someone gets the bullet this one in this um five or six <sighs> weeks? I, I still think it, it's a little bit harsh on him. I don't because think because I've seen him I've seen him turn it around before. Last year I reckon was really tricky. He's he's got a lot of time to turn it around. Don't don't forget, even from January, you've got five months left. Mm. I'm not saying he's going to survive the whole five, but you've got time, you know, so. It's a big result, Bournemouth as well. Like, it's the team's around you as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But fair play to Bournemouth, Forest though. Since, well. since, since, since Forest, Scott Parker's gone. Well. Forest winning as well. Yeah, yeah, Forest as well. Oh, Jay Lynx is on fire, isn't it? Yeah, I think, still think Forest games. will go down. Yeah, no, they're gone, they're gone. Uh, Nunes banging it in Nunes, for Liverpool. he's back in, back in form. Yeah. I think, what's he got? Three Seven one. goal involvements in the he's, he's got more than Jesus. Yeah, that don't really matter right now, mate. Oh, okay. It really doesn't. And everyone was looking at Nunez and going, oh, flop, he's not been great, and comparing him to Haaland or whatever. But the last three weeks or so, he's looked like... I've okay, always liked him. I can see so I can see what, what, why he's been bought. I've always liked him. He's not Mane. Different yeah. type of players, but I reckon he, he, he brings a lot still. His um, endeavour will get him goals. Brighton won. He's got some wheels on Aston Villa all. two. Say what you want to say. Um, what do I need to say? That's it. I Obviously, they turned us over last week because they're a good side. They've got a, on a winning run because they're a good side. Manager bounce, though, man. It's not. There's no such thing as manager bounce. There's, what? there's having a good so manager and having a you're shit manager. You're cool, man. And then, boop, boop, there you nah, go. Man. Leave I, my ex teammates alone, leave, man. Come listen, on, Stevie Give G, them a blight, That's please. my guy. We all know. So leave it there. Uh, I just want to read uh, out. Who did Pep say for his top three, by the way? Top three what? Let midfielders? them watch the video. Let them watch the top video. Three top three midfielders. Yeah, let them watch the video. Don't don't spoil it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch the video. Watch the video. I've done an interview with Pep, and I said to it's him, on the "Who's channel. the best three? Who's the best out of Skulls, Lampard, Gerrard?" Yeah. Spoiler alert: There was no hesitation. Uh, you're an idiot. <laughs> there was no um, consideration for the other two. Let's put it that way. I just want to quickly read out injured players that could not go to the World Cup, or they're not going to the World Cup. So you have got Paul Pogba, Kante, Werner, Reese James, Jota, Neto, Kamara. Uh, Arthur Mello, Ben Chilwell, and yeah, they they're probably like the 
the big think, wins. Obviously, you got I Mane. Think, uh, um, race against time. Pogba and Kante are massive misses. Huge. That's the experience just dragged out of that French mm. team in that middle the of the heart. park area. They had a, um, a, a, a the spine of that team. When you look at it, you've got Lloris, captain, won the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Varane won the World, won multiple um, trophies, but Is won the World Cup. It? Don't know, not yet, not sure yet. You have got Pogba, like shot, Kante, the half, so, then you have mm-hmm. got Benzema, yeah. Yeah. Griezmann, <clears throat> Mbappe. The spine of that team is a, is a madness. Like, but the two in the middle have been taken out. And Kante, the selfless work that he does, yeah. how do they replace that? Tukamani, they've got Real Madrid, got, who's a player. Because you want the tech in, it's yeah, still the, a piss the, take. The, 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 the midfield is still, I think, so is the area of concern for me. They, Kamavinga, does he start? Tukamani, I think he probably starts. Yeah, but they've still got talent in other areas to make it okay, like your Dembele's and your... They've you got like I mean? eight like, centre-halves going yeah, that they're, are all they're, sick. They're, their defenders are a joke. Mm. And forwards. So, yeah, so I think that's where the balance is. Chilwell, oh, Chilwell and Rhys James, huge misses for England, by the way. Huge, huge there misses. <laughs> So they've got Lloris going. I'm not reading the rest of the goalkeepers, but they've got Pavard, Kunde, Varane, Hernandez, Theo and Lucas Hernandez, uh, Maria Schiel, uh, Mende, Upamecano, and then in midfield, they've still got... No, Canate as well, and Saliba. Yeah, Canate and Saliba. Um, they've got Camavinga, uh, Gwendozi, Chuamemi, Rabiot. Me. Like, yeah, you're right, midfield. Midfield is the weakest, weakest spot. Yeah. I mean, it's weak compared to everything else. It's not yeah. horrendous. Yeah. Tukamani plays. He could he could be one that comes out of the woodworks in Tukamani. Yeah. If if France do well. all right. Guys, I yeah, think man. that's it for Viber it. Fire. We've given them two sick videos in one day. If they're not subscribing now, boy, yeah. I don't know what You've got to subscribe, do. turn notifications yeah, on, go and check out the Ronaldo video, the response to the big interview. Let's go. What day are you flying out? Don't know. <laughs> you think he's going to tell you? You're mad. Exactly. Listen. I'll get there. I'm going on my plane. You can yeah. go on yours. <laughs> Listen, wow. regardless, we're going to be creating sick content. You know, make sure you stay tuned to all our socials as well. It's going to be an absolute banger. Joel Bayer, Stephen Housen, Rio Ferdinand, signing out. Peace.